What's the key detail that Theresa, that's making Theresa May think that it could be the final version? OK, we are going to get, uh, we hope, the full 500 pages uh, later on after the ministers and everyone have had a look at it. But what we understand about, as you say, the key detail is it's about the Irish border, as we heard in the report there. The idea that we think uh, is being laid out there is for the whole of the UK to remain in a customs union with the European Union temporarily. That is if there is, by mid-2020, no uh, strong workable solution on the horizon to avoiding a hard border customs checks between the Republic of Ireland, still in the EU, and Northern Ireland, which would then be out of the EU. So Northern Ireland, uh, the real crux of this, what's made the tiny difference, uh, is that Northern Ireland would have slightly different provisions again from the rest of the UK, although the whole of the UK in a sort of a customs union with the EU. That is the, the, the little but significant detail that's changed everything. Now, how's Theresa May's day been going so far? A very busy day for her. She's already uh, gone through Prime Minister's question time. I managed to listen to at least the start of that. Uh, she was telling the Parliament that this is a, a deal that would protect the national interest, the economy, deliver on the referendum result, particularly importantly. And she highlighted many times that she believes that it protects the integrity of the UK. This issue of whether Northern Ireland would have any kind of a different status has been uh, such a divisive one. The DUP, the Dem Democratic Unionist Party from Northern Ireland. It's got uh, 10 MPs that are propping up Theresa May's majority. Uh, they are absolutely opposed to any kind of different status for Northern Ireland. So Theresa May has really been reiterating, you know, this is not the future arrangement with the EU. It is just a backstop if it comes to it. And if it does come to it, then it would only be temporary. You can have a listen to what Theresa May said in Parliament earlier. The Cabinet, Mr Speaker, will meet this afternoon to consider the draft agreement the negotiating teams have reached in Brussels, and the Cabinet will decide on the next steps in the national interest. I am confident that this takes us significantly closer to, to delivering on what the British people voted for in the referendum. That was Theresa May speaking in Parliament there. Catherine, are there any signs that her ministers will get on board to this uh, technical withdrawal deal? They've all been very much keeping things under their hats. Uh, reporters stationed outside the front doors of uh, many government ministers this morning, and they didn't get much more out of them than I'll tell you about it when I've read the deal. So uh, the Prime Minister's questions, that's a regular weekly thing in the UK Parliament. Uh, the real detail for those ministers is going to be hammered out uh, in a meeting this afternoon. It starts at 3 p.m. Paris time, 2 time in 2 p.m. in London. Uh, we believe it's going to last around about three hours. And uh, as we know, there are really big divisions among Theresa May's party and cabinet over the issue of Brexit. Uh, there are concerns uh, within the party that some of the ministers could say, no, this deal uh, doesn't live up to what we want. Uh, it puts the UK in too much of a hamstrung position with the EU, unable to strike its own trade deals uh, with other countries uh, once we've left. Uh, so, no, they're not going to support it, and that would mean uh, ministerial resignations. Of course, that's a very significant thing, And if there were several of them, that would put Theresa May in a very difficult position indeed. Up to this point, though, there really haven't been uh, many comments or indications. All I can tell you is that a few of the ministers weren't present at Prime Minister's questions. However, that could be because they're doing other business or having other discussions elsewhere. And Theresa May has to convince not just her cabinet, but maybe even across the aisle she'd have to convince people on the, in the Labour Party. Indeed, yes. Um, I mentioned about how the DUP is propping up Theresa May and affording her that parliamentary majority that she just missed out on with her own Conservative Party in the last election. So if the DUP uh, does... Uh, go against Theresa May on the Brexit deal, then Theresa May is going to need support from elsewhere. Some Labour members of Parliament uh, are uh, in support of having a Brexit deal. Some of them have very strong, hard Brexit positions. Um, but Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader at the moment, uh, has been criticising what he's heard about the draft deal. Uh, in question time, he said that it breaks the Prime Minister's own red lines on Brexit. It doesn't uh, deliver a deal that supports jobs and industry. Uh, and he, he said that it's essentially a botched deal. Here's Jeremy Corbyn. Labour respects the result of the referendum. But what we don't respect is the shambolic mess yeah. that this government has made of negotiations. 
This government, Mr Speaker, has spent two years negotiating a bad deal that will leave the country in an indefinite halfway house without a real say. Yet they think they can impose a false choice on Parliament between a half-baked deal or no deal. Jeremy Corbyn speaking there. So what comes next, Catherine? OK, what's next? As I said, Cabinet meeting this afternoon. Uh, there's also going to be a meeting in Brussels of the EU27, all the other member states' ambassadors uh, except for the UK. They're going to get a briefing on this draft deal as well. We've heard really nothing from the European Commission up to now. Uh, the Commission spokesman keeping very quiet in his midday briefing. Uh, after those meetings, if there is support for this deal among Theresa May's Cabinet and the EU27, things will start moving towards a summit that all the leaders of the uh, different EU member states. The date that's been mooted for that is November 25th. However, don't put that in your diary just yet. A lot has to happen before we get to that point. And when we get to that point, I'll tell you what comes after that. <laughs> well, Theresa May seems to be convinced that uh, Britain will be leaving the bloc on the 29th of March. So she set that date in her calendar. Exactly, okay. yes. We'll we see will have to wait and see. Between now and then. Catherine, mm. thank you very much for that. Catherine Nicholson there.